We're now joined by Rebecca Schneider. She joins us live from Cornell University in New York, where she's associate professor in the Department of Natural Resources, turning sand to soil. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, China's been praised for these efforts. What makes them so effective, do you think? Okay, so um, the key issue with desertification is that you're working with systems that used to be grasslands a long time ago. So hundreds, thousands of years ago, about 40% of the land surface of the earth used to be grasslands. That's what grows when you have a semi-arid climate, less than 600 millimeters of rainfall a year. And the key, one of the key things that allowed grasslands with all their bison, buffalo, antelopes, all the high productivity was the organic matter. And that is the decaying leaves and roots from the grasses would build up in the soil and act like a sponge. So even though there wasn't a lot of rain, when it had occurred, the soil would absorb that and hold that water. Now, what's happened around the world in all that former grassland areas, we turn to agriculture. And over time, hundreds of years in the United States, thousands of years in the Mediterranean and China, all the agriculture gradually eroded away those rich organic soil layers. The soil organic matter was eroded away by wind and water. And then what's left is a very sandy type soil or a soil that doesn't hold rainfall and it becomes more, less fertile. It doesn't grow as much, can't hold the rain. You need to irrigate it more, add fertilizer. So the key is how do we restore the soil health and what we're working with here in Cornell, but there's all different methods. And the project you just heard described is thinking about how do we get that organic matter back into the soil? How do we get that key ingredient that actually captures and holds the rain like a sponge? And that seems to be a critical part of what's being done now around the world to help restore our desert, desertified areas. Yeah, it doesn't sound easy though. Well, I mean, it's really not that hard, when, and especially not even to me that expensive when you think about what we'll spend millions of dollars on a small bridge somewhere. It's really a matter of getting, the, well, the technique we're using is actually we're using coarse wood chips incorporated into the top layers of the soil, and they act like a sponge and capture the rainfall. Now, we're doing work with the Ningxia Forestry Institute and Southwest University in Chongqing, and we're working up next to the Yellow River near Inner Mongolia in Ningxia. And what we're doing is it does rain there. It's not much. It's less than half an inch, about less than slightly one centimeter every 10 days. But that's rain. And it's really about capturing that rainfall when it comes and not letting it disappear into the sand or evaporate. So actually incorporating what we call, we're developing a recipe to jumpstart the whole healing of the soil. And so by adding wood chips, and then so we're figuring out other ingredients, a little bit of fertilizer, possibly a microbial inoculum, um, similar to what was described earlier, it's mm -hmm. you're jump-starting the healing of the soil. Jump-starting the healing. I, I like how you put it. Rebecca, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much.